Hi, I'm Dr. Roberta Shaler, the Relationship Help Doctor. And you know, often clients say to me that they're always being told by their partners or their parents or their exes, oh, you're just being too sensitive. Does that sound familiar to you? Is that something that you've heard a lot in your life? Well, people who want to abuse you, and I use that word freely because that's what it is when people engage in verbal and emotional abuse, people who want to abuse you or keep you small or have power or control over you will find ways to make you easily put down. And one of those ways is by saying, oh, you're overly sensitive. What they're really saying is, I can do what I want. I can say to you whatever I want to say, and I don't have to consider your feelings because I'll just blurt all that out. I'll be very straightforward about it. And then when you say, ouch, I will simply say, oh, you're overly sensitive. You have thin skin. Don't you know I was just kidding? Now, the problem with that is that the message was already received by you, sent and received and you've taken it in. And if you've been in a relationship with a hijackal for a while, this is pretty common, you're used to this. And so it just adds to the pile, it doesn't really shock you anymore. And you, you're underneath that pile, and every time it just gets a little heavier and a little heavier. But I wanna give you some insights as to what you can do or say when somebody says that, and begin to take that stuff off you so it's not that burden, it's not crushing you down, it's not pushing you down. It's important to have these, these skills because we, we need to feel empowered. And when you've been with a hijackal for a while, they have really taken away your sense of power in most cases. They want to tell you how it is and when it'll happen and why it is and what's wrong with you and why it's always your fault. And they're very good at that. They're very consistent. You can count on them. That's a pattern that they have. So... Be sure that, that you listen up here about ways to get out from underneath that. And why I, I say that, you know, to listen up is because I want you to listen differently. I want you to listen for it. Listen for that put down. Listen for that little squash that's adding to your smallness, which is what you've become maybe accustomed to, inured to, you're not, it just rolls off your back, you don't expect any different, you just roll your eyes and go, oh yeah, there it goes again, and uh, that, that's not healthy, that's not a good thing to get used to, so what happens when the hijackal says, oh, well, you're just being overly sensitive after they've said their piece and probably been somewhat unkind? Well, what they're doing, as I said, is they want the power over you. They want the control. So they have that in the moment when they squish, when they diminish you, when they, when they try to make you smaller. And so we can't just, in a moment, if we want to keep the relationship with the hijackal, it's not wise to ever directly confront a hijackal with facts uh, or your feelings because you'll just get squished again. Never directly confront a hijackal. But start within yourself. Do something different. So the next time that your hijackal says, oh, you're overly sensitive, and there you go. What are you crying for? Just simply allow yourself. First of all, practice in your head. You may not get any words out. But allow yourself to say, I have a right to my feelings that hurt me or that upset me. And I'm allowed to say that. Now, if you can, say those words out loud. You're not saying anything bad about the hijackal. You're not saying anything that they did that they're wrong or anything at all. You are simply speaking from your heart. That hurt me. That bothered me. Nothing more. Just start there. Don't allow yourself to continuously be put down by being told you're overly sensitive. Now, the second part of that equation is find out if you are being overly sensitive. Check with somebody. Check with me. Check with a friend. Um, although friends and family are not reliable sources for help, they may be reliable sources for emotional support, but they're not reliable sources for help because they don't know what it's like to live in that situation. So you need outside help, like, you know, coming along and being a member and being able to ask questions and things with me. But ask yourself, am I overly sensitive? Or have I become overly sensitive? 
because I've been put down so frequently? So you need to ask that question. So internally you're saying, no, I'm not overly sensitive, I'm hurting. If you're strong enough, you say, no, I'm not overly sensitive, I'm feeling hurt, I'm feeling put down, I'm feeling whatever is true for you. And that's a good beginning point. Then after you've been doing that for a while, and a while might be a week or two, then you amp it up a little bit and you say, I'm not overly sensitive, I feel this, I want to be respected. And you add that to the conversation. Now, talk to the hand. The hijacker is going to say, why do you think you deserve respect? What have you ever done to deserve respect? We're not working on the hijackle at this point. We're working on you. So you just simply say that, and I deserve respect. And if he says, why do you think, I, or she says, why do you think I deserve respect? You say, because I breathe. Everybody does. Could you do that? Might be a little tough at the beginning. That's why I'm suggesting you practice in your head. Because it's highly unlikely you're oversensitive. What you're giving is information that the hijackle doesn't want to hear. So the hijackle has to swat it aside. And the way that he or she does that is by suggesting you're overly sensitive or that you have a thin skin. And sometimes it happens in the case where you are in company, you and your hijackal are in company, and the hijackal takes a pot shot at you, blindsides you with a remark, a one-liner, and they're counting on the fact you're not going to say anything because you don't want to make a scene, right? And so you begin there by saying, ouch, that hurt. Nothing more, no big discussion, but you say, ouch, that hurt. And you begin there. So we need some techniques, some strategies. One thing for sure, when you're living with a hijackal or leaving a hijackal or were the child of a hijackal, you have to learn to set some boundaries and say things straight up. And these are the things that will help you. Um, I don't want to put too much in each video, so I'll separate them out. But try these things. You deserve respect. Give it to yourself first and speak up. Talk soon.